All right, so let me make sure we're not using that one. We want to use a, diff a different save, so we'll go with save two, because this one is I completed the game. All right. Also, I think when I played this before, I hadn't really played actual Minecraft too much, so I didn't understand what a lot of the blocks and like references and stuff were. So I'm interested to see it again, now that I have played an obscene amount of Minecraft. Oh, we get to choose our appearance, that's right. Well, there we go. All right, so tonight, like I said, we're doing the first two episodes. So we'll start with this one. Not me. What's up, Dizzy? How you doing? You're just in time. We're just starting episode one now. Nothing built can last forever. And every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost until all that remains are myths. Sounds like Fry. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel, the warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. That's not how that works. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the Rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Zoran, the architect, builder of worlds, and leader of the Order hey. of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous <laughs> journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious, and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. So they literally just played the, the real game. <laughs> I love it. Also, uh, I'm doing but pretty good, Dizzy. I'm glad you're doing well. Another one begins. I appreciate the lurks. Enjoy your food. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies... Or ten zombie-sized chickens. Okay, before you answer that question, can I turn on subtitles? I can. All right, cool. Yeah. Just to be clear, um, you wouldn't have any weapons yeah. or armor, so you'd have to fight them with your hands. I'd have to go with the giant chickens. We go with platinum to or Because I think it would be easy, but because they would be an abomination. Imagine What's up, this the giant feet. Like I said. An abomination. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? Hi. What kind of question so is that? Of course he okay. is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like... I don't know. Amateurs. People love pigs. He's my wingman. People always want to talk to the guy with the pig. You mean talk about the guy with the pig. Like, look at the weird guy with the weird pig. How weird. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. I was literally just about to say, who I'm cares what they think? I'm tired of being a laughing stock. Who cares? Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just... It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. It's a so win. Okay. Fine. Oh my god. Did you hear that? Oh no. Boom! <laughs> 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 oh man. You guys totally freaked out. That was also, I can only think of Ratatouille every time our What's character the speaks. With you? Great. Now um, I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. I thought we were buddies. Cool mask. It is, isn't it? Yeah, very convincing. 
<laughs> the look on your faces. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something. The chat the covers the subtitles. Nice. You brought Ruben a disguise? Um, no, that's a fair point. To a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. Yoink. There we go. As long as Ruben is happy, I'm happy. Happy? Well, zippity doo dah. Okay, relax. I love the pig it's wearing fine. the dragon head. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. See, now he's your wingman. Stop. Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? How come okay. you can't wear the dragon head in the actual game? Oh, man. Forgot it's point and click. All right, what do we got? Gabriel the Warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? It's not impossible. Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. <laughs> okay. Shear is definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. They're gonna break very easily, though. Give me a dragon roar, Reuben. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do, Reuben. That'll do. Oh my god. I love it. I got this stand as a gift, but don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. One of these days, we're gonna win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. They really should change the name. I love when a game doesn't take itself too seriously. That'll do, pig, that'll do. Yes, I was wondering if anybody caught that reference. Hmm, flint and steel, not too shabby. Can I leave? We gotta go this way. I just love that he's still wearing this, and I think he's gonna wear That's it for a while. Everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one, the special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. <laughs> Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally, he's awesome. It'd be amazing to meet him. Ruben better be careful in that costume. The last time Gabriel saw a dragon, it didn't end well. So, does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? <laughs> what? Yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year, we've got Reuben with us. We basically have no chance. Wow. That's rude. Faith, Olivia. What? A little slice, a sliver, a portion, just a little faith. That's all we need. Also, I'm hungry to win. No, no, I'm with that. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay. Totally forgot about how, so this, how is do we do this is set up. We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. We might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. They both have their moments. Both pretty mm. scary. Then again, you scared the crap out of us with a creeper today. Let's Enderman. build an Enderman. Uh, Olivia's thing? Are you whining? No, I was saying awesome. Yeah. Nice save. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then.
We're so prepared. We can't lose. Also, is it just me or is the background like randomly popping? Like it's not loading and then it is. Prepare on three. No, no, no. Preparing is daring. No, that's that's the same thing. Forget it. A team on three. One, two, three. Team. Prepare. Nice. Whose voice is who? The our character, Jesse. Oh my god. The button prompts of the montage. Wow. I do not remember this at all. One of the other ones? I don't know who the other ones are. I do know Axel sounds familiar. The deep voice? I don't know his name, but he sounds familiar. What does all this have to do with collecting wood? Oh yeah, sour cream from Steven Universe. Yeah, that's him. I don't know the guy's name though. In the air. And of course, our character is uh, Pat Oswalt. All the stuff for it. We are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build. I'm ready to win. Nice pig, losers. Mm. It is oh, a nice pig. Great. There's Lucas and the ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> Great. Yeah, the they camera's having a hard time in this game. Lucas, I wonder if it's because it's on the new Xbox. Get a load of these losers. Let's go. Things guys. are blurry when they shouldn't be. Name, please. Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? Oh, no. We are not ready for this. <laughs> oh, no. So We're the order of the pig. The dead end. Okay, hold on. Order of the pig... Dead Enders or Nether Maniacs. <laughs> Brian? What's that? Posen? I don't know how to say that. Order of the Pig? Order of the Pig? I mean, Ruben is pretty awesome. I feel like... I mean, Dead Enders? It just sounds like a crappy British soap opera. Um, Alright, we'll, we'll do Order of the Pig. We're the Order of the Pig. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Ruben liked it. Is it meant to tie us to Ruben, or are you making fun of me? Okay, Order of the Pig. You guys are in booth five. Oh, ah, ah. <laughs> Is this going to make us incorporate Ruben into the build somehow? Hmm. Nope. Okay. I don't like the look of this. It's just it's just an empty booth. Is that a freaking beacon? They have a freaking beacon? Freaking beacon? That's stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. We're gonna lose. Our design is way cooler. A gigantic Enderman is better than a fancy light. Yeah, Their the background? difficulty score is going to be higher than our total score. We've got something they don't. Fireworks. We should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha. Look. It's the order of the losers again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. <laughs> I'm talking about your pig. To see a world in a grain of sand and a heaven in a wild Saying he's flower. food. Ruin infinity is not in the food. palm of your you hand. Me. An eternity in an delicious. hour. Welcome back, Dizzy. 
I don't know if it's an issue with the game or if it's with the game running on a newer system. You'll have to eat me first. Uh, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. I've had other games that were older that I played on the newer system and it did similar stuff. Hey, Josie. Guys. Hey, Petra. How's the bill going? Time will tell, These people are so pixelated. You know hey Petra, games with better I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Sip. Thank you, zombie, for that 16 months. I know, yeah, this game looks too old, guys. I'm sorry. We're gonna have to go play something with better graphics, like uh, Final Fantasy VII. Um, <laughs> but seriously, thank you for the 16 months. And I, I don't think it's that the new system can't handle the game. I think it's a compatibility thing. Um, like, I think it's. It's something to do with, like, it wasn't meant for this system. I don't know. It's I'm just pulling shit out of the air at this point. Thank you for the, uh... Oh, I was saying thank you for the shout-out. That's your auto shout-out. Yeah, thank you, bot, for the shout-out. They really need to lighten up. Who cares if they win? I mean, that's the approach that I'm taking with all of my responses. Like, who cares? But... Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. <laughs> no hard feelings, guys. And if you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are. We're cool with Petra, but you need to teach your friends some manners. He's just trying to get in your head. Well, have you heard the saying, it's possible to be nice and win? Sounds like something a loser would say. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the EnderCon building competition! The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at EnderCon. The winners will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior! Ocelot. Our voice does sound familiar. Ocelot. 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 Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. We'll just make one up. We'll call it the... <laughs> the Warrior Whip, the Redstone Wrap, the Builder Bump, the Griefer Grab. What? Let's go with Redstone Wrap. The Redstone Wrap. Hmm. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Can't Just find anything on a quick Google about the background, but it's whatever. This year, the order of the pig can't lose. Let's do it. Building starts now. Oh, shit. Gotta hit buttons. What's up, Solism? Oh, no. A fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. You worry about your build, and we'll worry about ours. <laughs> Look at that efficiency. And no, oh, there's your one year. Yeah, thank you for the 12 months. You know, why can't I build like that? I definitely don't build that fast. Are we getting ideas? And now moment of truth. Here goes nothing. This looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. I gotta admit, this Enderman is sweet. Good call, Jesse. Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man. What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wool. What's wrong with that? Oops. Oh no, Ruben's on fire! Ruben, no, come back! It was Aiden, that punk. The lava's getting closer. It's ruin the build. Ruben's going to get lost. God, just turn off fire spread. We've got to uh, do something. Oh but shit, our okay. Build is about to go up in flames. All right. Do we go find Ruben or do we save the build? Is this the OG Fortnite? <laughs> it might be. It might be. Should we? Do we save the build or the pig? Hmm. Find Ruben, save the pig. I mean, that would be my choice because Ruben's awesome. All right, we're gonna we're gonna look for Ruben. We gotta get Ruben. <laughs> Just knock that guy over. Oof. We're 
right behind you. Show love 100, what ah. the hell is this? Ah. Show love 100. Thank you, Miki, for the uh, 200 bits. Hey, they came with me to help. Nice. I guess our Enderman's gonna burn, though. I don't see him anywhere, Reuben. The sun's going down. We gotta find him fast. He could have gone anywhere, and this part of the woods is huge. We stand a better chance of finding him if we split up. If either of you get lost, just use the lights from Endercon to make your way back to town. Got it? Got it. Yeah, where, where was the fall damage? Is it because he, he tucked and rolled? Where are you? Just give me an oink if you can hear me. Oh. Press Just right stick to call for Ruben. It's like heavy rain. <laughs> We're looking for Jason. What the hell is this? <laughs> oh my god. Monta, thank you for the five gifted subs. Hmm. Pig tracks. Pig tracks? That couldn't be Ruben. Ruben, I don't want to be out here in the dark. I hear some pigs. Not even gonna lie, Ruben is the best character in this to me. He's my favorite. I do remember him. These definitely belong to a pig. Hmm. There's no way Ruben made these on his own. Carrot? Can't wait for this. Cheer 100 can't wait for the serial killer uh, to show hey, up. Ruben, I got a carrot for you. Where are you, buddy? Thank you for the 100 bid, zombie. And yeah, maybe there will be a serial killer. You know nothing about this game? Uh, the only thing you need to know so far is that it's Minecraft. They haven't really set up too much just yet. Ruben, are you in there? We're looking for our lost pig. Ruben, or a Garmy killer. No, not you guys. Pigs. Pig. All pigs but Ruben, shut up. <laughs> also, I just, I have to say, I really, I really like Patton Oswalt, and I'm really glad that they got him to do the voice for Jesse. He cracks me up. You, shouldn't, you don't play Minecraft because of simulation sickness? Well, I don't think this game would have that issue, because it's not first person, but I can understand. Especially if you put the field of view in Minecraft, like, really wide, it's kind of nauseating. I don't know how people play it with it like that. Ruben, it's getting scary out here. Uh oh. Smoldering costume. Ruben. Ruben. Oh no, you in there, buddy? Oh jeez, please don't be toasted, Ruben. Music's making it a little creepy. <laughs> bacon. <laughs> no, no Reuben bacon. Yeah. Why is the moon a cube? Have you ever played Minecraft? Everything's a cube. Better be Reuben. Oh my god. Reuben, there you are. Hey, buddy, you want a carrot? Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Well, Ruben, run. I think, I think we're good. <laughs> You're never good at night in Minecraft. You're never good. I think we made it. There's always something. You didn't tell me this was a horror game. It's not. It's not. Yeah, hit him with a wooden sword. Get back! Get back! 
Stay behind me. I got you. Yeah. He's coming up the hill right now. Seriously. Oh, yeah, of course. Wooden sword ain't shit. Stupid wooden sword. I know it's bad. I'll think of something. Um. Too many of them, buddy. Leave that spot no matter what. You hear me? I got you. Hey, no! Get away from him! Get off of him! Oh no, he got you! Leave Ruben alone! Get off me! Thank you guys for the uh, hype train. Much appreciated. This is this is very intense. I forgot about this. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of the open. I'd sacrifice myself for Reuben. You're like that meme from Brooklyn Nine-Nine where she's holding the dog and she's like, I've only had him for a day, but I would kill myself if anything happened to him. <laughs> Reuben is I the best. Show you something. I feel bad he got hurt. Not that this isn't a really cool, dimly lit tunnel, but how far away is this thing you want to show me? We aren't going to have bacon this day. Are you Careful rooting for bacon? I'm confused. You don't want to get a reputation as a wimp. Y y this isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen a wither skull? Whoa! Fresh from the nether. You're the first person I've showed it to. You risked your life for that dusty old skull? Oh, I risk my life for the thing I'm going to exchange for that dusty old skull. There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's going to trade me a diamond for it. A diamond for Being a wither skull? go-getter pays off every once Not in a worth while. a diamond. Is a wither skull worth that much? <laughs> Are you kidding? Be worth for a few diamonds, maybe. all the trouble I had to go to get it, I should be asking for much more. Wow. Wow what? In a single day, you went to the nether, you killed a wither skeleton. I mean, I did build a super cool statue, but still. It's pretty sweet being you, huh? I blame inflation. That'd be worth you at know, least several diamonds you now. You could come with me. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. But I wouldn't mind a little backup. I'd be honored to be your backup. You don't have to make such a big deal out of it. I just said... You could come with me. I know. I was there. It was amazing. <laughs> kind of starting to have second uh. thoughts here. You just keep a crafting table down here? Comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted... You're giving me a new one? Even better, you can make your own. One stick plus two stones equals one sword. Just grab what you need. Oh, okay, thanks. Must hey, not make is comment. All this stuff yours? When do no, you ever not make a comment? We're stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave this here. Of course it's mine. Just making sure. Oh, here we go. Jackpot. Why did it cut off? Jackpot. <laughs> Just place the pieces on the table. Old school. Yeah, and I know this side's going to make a comment. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Come on, Jesse. We don't have all night. Yeah. All right. You got to do it the right way, right? I don't remember what the pattern is. Too bad. That's not right. Oh, I had it backwards. See, I didn't play Minecraft when you had to actually put things on the table. I don't have all this shit memorized. You just Lego See? together materials and boom sword. That's how it yourself. works. I'm definitely spoiled by the crafting tables where if you have the ingredients, it just makes it for you. Check it out. Endercon's all lit up. Oh man, looks like Lucas and his ocelots won again. Sorry, Jesse. But you've got to admit, that beacon does look pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted this to be the year we finally beat that jerk. 
You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him, just in case. He's good at building, that's for sure. Mm. It's always useful to have a guy like that around, no matter what you might think of him personally. Yeah, you might be right. I'm just saying, if you run into him at Embercon, try talking to him. I don't need a lecture on the power of collaboration, Petra. How about a lecture on the power of my fists? It's short, but deadly. Come on, let's hurry. Remember what Endercon was like before it was cool? Remember what we were like before we were cool? Some of us will never be cool. Ha ha. <laughs> Creepers! <sighs> Crap. You know, I want to say they just can't catch a break, but this is what it's like at night. This doesn't look good. You missed the well, dragon costume for the pig. Seriously. This <laughs> Whatever we do, we do it together. Oh shit. Alright, do we do we jump or do we fight? I want to jump. I don't want to fight these things. But should we should we run or should we fight? I don't know. Somebody throw something out. Jump? Fight? I need a, I need a tiebreaker. I need at least one tiebreaker. Or I'll flip a coin. Um, that's a lot of things to fight, and we only have one sword. I feel like that wouldn't go very well. Um, okay, where's my... Buried in my bowl here. Fight! Okay, well, I'm going to get this out for later anyway, just in case I need it. There's my coin. All right, I guess we're fighting. I have one sword and a pig. But the pigs hurt. The only way off this bridge is through them. All right. Fighting creepers is a very bad idea. Don't blow up. Too many of them. I don't want to die. So much for that. Look at Ruben. <laughs> Poor guy. Well, it said Petra will remember that we wanted to fight. Maybe that'll matter. Oh no, the chickens! The soundtrack in this game is great. Burns, it burns! Don't you know, you dive into the water. You don't land on top of it. Pull yourself together and follow me. So Petra is voiced by the, the girl that does Ellie? Is that what you're saying? Because I think I can kind of hear it. So, when we're making the deal, I need you to let me do the talking. Okay? I just don't it's been want a while anything since I played to screw that. this up. Or anyone. Sure, I'll let you handle it. And if you want to be really useful, try to look intimidating. Like this? I'm less scared of you than scared for you. Yeah, I can yes. definitely hear it now that it's been pointed and out. Petra? Hey, you all know Petra, my new super close friend. We're super close now. Mm. We ran into each other while I was looking for Reuben. Poor Reuben. What happened to his eye? We had a little run-in with some zombies. They whacked him good, but Reuben held his own. What were you doing in the woods, Petra? Nothing. Just... Drawn by the sound of Jesse's high-pitched screams. I would have been spider bait if she hadn't found me. I gotta admit, I'm pretty bummed they won. Again. I mean, there's no way we were gonna let you go after Reuben by yourself, but... It's okay to be a little disappointed, right? More like, a lot disappointed. The saddest of the sad sacks? Cheer up, guys. We'll get him next year. I don't know, Jesse. The spirit is willing but the flesh is sad. 
hey, if at first you don't <laughs> succeed, then uh, succeed later than I kind of want that as a sound effect. Hey, Jesse, it's time to go see about that thing. Oh, right, the thing. Subtle. Yeah. As a punch to the face. Axel and I were going to head into Endercon anyway. See you in there? I heard somebody saying there's free cake by the map booth. Hurry. We're supposed to meet in the alley over there. Dark. Dark. Very dark in here. That's weird. He said the dark, creepy alley close to the gates, but he's not here. Maybe he's late. Are you sure this is the dark, creepy alley he meant? Hmm. I was. Okay. New plan. You stay here, just in case this is the spot he meant, and I'll look around. I guess I could have heard him wrong. Then again, oh, I've never gotten a meetup spot wrong before. Okay, I'll hold down the fort. Thanks, Jesse. I'll be back before you know it. If he shows up while I'm gone, just stall for me. I feel bad for Ruben. Can we, like, heal him somehow? <clears throat> and just who are you? I'm waiting. No, who are you? If you belonged here, you would know. Unless that's all part of the plan? I'm supposed to meet with Petra, not whatever you're supposed to be. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't walk out of here right now. Well? I'm with Petra. My deal is with her. Not her partner. She'll be here, but we can get started without her. Do you have the skull? Uh, well... You do or you don't? You'd better not be toying with me. Petra has it. She'll be back any minute now. Well, as long as she's bringing it. I suppose it wouldn't kill me to wait a minute longer. Uh, well... Ivor! Oh, that was deliberately <laughs> awkward, I feel like. Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> but good things are worth waiting for. I've got what you ask for. If you have what you promised us... You didn't say anything about an us when we first met? And I don't like surprises. If these are the sorts of people you associate with, perhaps we should call the whole thing off. My friend is fine, right, Jesse? There's no problem here. Let's not be too hasty, okay? This is just a little misunderstanding. Let's just do this thing. That's what I thought. Proceed, then. I'll take that diamond now. Take it. You've earned it. Why do I feel like this thing is empty? Uh, this isn't a diamond. No, it's lapis. It's even oh, worse. It's dirty, <laughs> underhanded tricks to pull. Lapis isn't so bad. I can't believe that guy got one over on me. Lapis isn't so bad. We do need something decorative for the treehouse. Screw this. We're Never the optimist. After. I'm either getting that diamond or I'm getting my skull back. Yeah, or you'll make him pay, right? Right? Come on. Do you see him anywhere? We lost him. Then we'll just have to find him again. Go. Hmm. How hard could it be? Step aside, I have just one question. Hold all your questions until after the keynote. The keynote sold out. Hold all your questions anyway. You guys big Gabriel fans or something? Too bad it's sold out. What's up? What's up? Nothing. What's up with you? Nothing. What's up with you? I, I just said nothing. I'm sorry you guys didn't win this year. It might have turned out pretty cool. You guys deserve that win. Thanks for being so cool about it. It's not fair you had to deal with Aiden being an idiot. Hey, you didn't happen to see a creepy guy with long hair and a beard roaming around, did you? I don't think so. Why? He kind of scammed Petra out of a diamond earlier. Oh, everyone knows you don't mess with Petra. Not if you know what's good for you. I'll keep an eye out, okay? Thanks, I appreciate it. 
See, it pays to be nice. So, uh, we're cool? Yeah, we're cool. Cool, cool. <laughs> what? Coolio. Coolness. <laughs> see you later, Lucas. Oh my yeah, God. see ya. If you stream in full HD, why is the game so pixelated? I, yeah, we were talking about that earlier. <laughs> the graphics in this are just terrible. How you doing, Brunkle? Thought you could just wiggle right out of that trap, didn't you? Well, wiggle as much as you want. You're not going anywhere. Axel, listen up. Any chance you Why is he? Never mind. Creepy looking beardy guy anywhere? No. Petra told me what happened. I'm keeping an eye out for him. Okay, so I got a little distracted. It's just this machine presses all my buttons. Unnecessarily complicated and mean to birds for no reason. It's just, when something like this calls, you gotta answer. But I swear, as soon as the demonstration is over, Petra did make it sound kind of serious. The old silent treatment, huh? All right, all right, I'll look. Mean to birds After for no I reason, yeah. One more chicken get owned. <laughs> I love how that's one of his criteria for something he enjoys. Ha, I see you now, weirdo. Well, if it isn't Team Trash Bag, that was your stupid pig. I hear intense heat causes brain damage. Aiden, you idiot. Hey, who are you calling an idiot? You, now move. Hey. That'll show him. You need a Team Trash Bag t-shirt. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, what do you think you're... Uh -oh. What do you think you're doing? Oh, Oops. I'm sorry. Get away from me. I said I was sorry. Ruben, where'd you wander off to? Why is Ruben Get always your in trouble? Chops here, fresh off the bow. Excuse me, what was that? Nothing sticks to your ribs quite like a juicy pork chop. Ruben, what's the big idea? I'm trying to run a business here. That's my pig. You kidnapped my pig. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, Chief. I found this pig wandering alone in the streets. Not the fattest pig I've ever seen. He's not food. Once I butcher the thing, we can all have a piece. Oh my I like God. a jowl myself. Just a fancy word for cheeks. Oh, come on! I might be amenable to some kind of trade. Not that you look like you've got much of value. <laughs> I gotta get some kind of return oh, on my shit. investment. All right, do we threaten him with the sword, Otherwise, offer to trade sword, the for this one. or do nothing? I want to I wanna threaten him. <laughs> you don't take Reuben. Pigs are friends, not food. Exactly. That's how I feel. Not Reuben. Threaten him? What's up, Ninja? How you doing? Say nothing, of course. The classic, classic Bronco. Um Two for threaten, trade sword. All right. We're gonna threaten him. Give me back my pig. Damn. All right, you little maniac. Fine. Take him. He's yours. Good. And we get to keep Come our sword. Come on, Reuben. <laughs> this is always the I'm answer. I'm sorry, Reuben. I was so busy uh, trying to find that creepy dude. I didn't notice. I don't think that's what we were taught. <laughs> Also, this machine over here, I don't know what's going on. It's like a giant chicken made of wool with chickens running around inside it, and there's lava. Remember that thing I had to go do with Petra? Long story short, we met up with this guy, he cheated me and Petra on a deal, and now we're trying to track him down. Chicken you bounce in? house. Oh, I'm in, all right. Any sign of him? I thought I saw him earlier, but it was just a false alarm. Wait, there he is! Looks like he's heading towards the hall. We're gonna have to get past that usher to follow him. Let's go! So, yeah, hey. What would it take to get us inside tonight? Uh, tickets? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. You should laugh. This might sound crazy, but we're actually <laughs> on an important mission. 
<laughs> I hope your mission came with tickets to the show, because, I mean, otherwise... Chicken! 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 <laughs> it's gone. You're totally fine. You were totally cool, dude. We have to do something. Like what? This show has been sold out for ages. I could bust right through. I just need a little wind-up room. Any other bright ideas? We need a distraction. A lot of chickens running around might be a distraction. That was awesome. <laughs> shoot, shoot. Get out of here. Usher is afraid of chickens. Uh. What would you say if I told you I want to break this guy's chicken machine to create the mother of all distractions? But you have to break that pane of glass. How are you going to reach it? Let's look around. There has to be something we can do. What happens if we use it? I need to reach that oh, window. I thought I could pull the, the lever. In the way. And I don't think I can mess up the fence if he's around. Hmm. I bet I could reach that glass with a slime block. Slime booth. Oh, hey, we meet again. <laughs> hey. One slime block, please. We don't give out slime blocks here, just slime balls. We've got a limited supply today, and we're only giving out two per customer. You could craft your own slime block if you had nine slime balls. Can I please, please have some slime? Ugh, whatever. A round of slime balls for everyone, please. Wait, this is only eight slime balls. We need one more to make a block. Okay, we need to find another way to get some more slime, and quick. On it. Ruben, I need your guidance. What would you do in a situation like this? I hear you, brother. Of course. Hey, uh, Lucas, can you do me a favor? Anything's possible. I need slime balls. I swear I have a really good explanation. Whatever you guys are doing, count me in. Thanks, Lucas. Told you he was useful. Oh man, this guy isn't actually cool, is he? Remains to be seen. It's crafting time. So, you guys have been building together long? You've got good chemistry. Are you jealous? I'm just saying, I think it's cool you have a team that works so well together. You're totally jealous. How's it going, Jesse? You know how to do this. Nice. Ta-da! One slime block. Gross. I'll take that right there. It's all you, Jesse. Give me a boost. <sighs> you put all the parts in the right spots. I mean, kind of hard to mess that one up. Oh, no. Ugh. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Now's our chance. Uh. Hey. I'll never see Minecraft chickens the same way again. Where'd he go? There. Through that door. What do we do once we catch him? There are a million ways to play this. But considering this isn't my fight, I'll follow your lead. We politely ask for what's ours. Short, sweet, and to the point. Not bad. You ready? I feel like I recognize ready. Lucas's voice too. See anything? He must have gone out another way. What is all this? Looks like it used to be the basement. Weird place to have a hideout. 
I bet you anything I'll find my wither skull here. And if we find anything else cool to steal along the way, so be it, right? Axel, that's not what we're here to do. I said we should ask politely, Axel. Yeah, but if the guy's not here, we can't ask. So I say, we take. I don't want to stoop to his level. But isn't that the best way to get back at him? Let's focus on finding the skull, not stealing. Nobody ever lets me have any fun. We let you hang out with us. The faster we find what we're looking for, the faster we can get the heck out of here. All you can think is Luke from the Percy Jackson series. Mostly stuff about brewing. You know what? I think Lucas's voice actor is Luke from The Walking Dead. Now that you said Luke, I'm like, wait a minute. I'm pretty sure... I'm going to have to hear him talk again, but I'm pretty sure that's who I, who I know him from. Oh, hello. <clears throat> too heavy. And too soft. But super flashy. Yeah, I don't think this guy does much fighting. Hey, you still have that one stone sword, right? Yeah, I had to wave it at this jerkwad butcher earlier, you know, to save Ruben's life. Impressive. You're keeping it? But I thought it was too soft, too heavy. Eh, it still might come in handy. And it is super flashy. Find anything? I want to steal that and that. I just want to touch that. This guy's got a problem. Fancy potion. Ooh, take a look at this. You're not going to believe me, but I swear I had a dream about this. Okay, potion. I know this is a big step, but... I would be honored if you'd come home with me. Come on, Axel, make yourself useful and go find that skull. I am. Uh, nope, you're literally doing the exact opposite of what I just asked you to do. There's no way he won't notice his fancy potion is missing. A good thief always covers his tracks. <coughs> Fixed it. Oh, oh my god. god. That's a perfect crime. What does this do? Indiana Jones here. <laughs> They'll never notice. What the hell is all this stuff? Soul sand. It was everywhere in the nether. What about that block in the middle? I've never seen one of these before. I wonder if I just take a closer look. Do you feel that? It's almost pulsing. How is it glowing like that? Don't touch that, Olivia. I was just curious. Don't forget what we're here for. Find that skull. The humor is surprisingly hilarious. It is funny. I forgot how funny it is. So I forgot all about the thing with the chickens. Good news, weird news. I found the skull, oh but... The hell? Why'd I risk my neck for that skull if he's got two of them already? Oh, he shit. was in such a hurry to get it, too. Mm. There's gotta be something bigger going on here. This yeah. has gotta be connected somehow. Three wither skulls is bad with news. The the skulls was hidden back here with everything else. It's gotta mean something. But what? I think I know what's going on here. Soul sand plus three wither skulls. That's the recipe for a wither. But a wither? That's... One of the worst monsters there is. We came down here to find the skull. Well, we found it. Maybe we should just grab it and get out of here while we still can. Uh, guys, scatter! <laughs> you have no idea what's going on. We came to get the uh, the skull back, and we found that he has two more. If you have three wither skulls, you can summon the wither, which is really bad. Big monster, destroys a lot of stuff. Don't you recognize me? Oh, wait. Surprised to see me? <laughs> no, that's not good. Thought you were rid of me, didn't you? That's better. <laughs> Ruben hiding in plain sight. <laughs> Uh, I love it. Hey, look, you didn't notice the potion. What was that? Who's there? I love Ruben with all my heart. I told you, he's the best. He's the best. I love Ruben so much. Mm. 
Hey, you! What are you doing here? What did you see? Leave him alone. Yeah, back off, pal. You two. Did you follow me here? You thought you could just screw us over and get away with it, didn't you? We're here to prove you wrong. What are you going to do about it? Good I have what I man. want, and you have exactly what you earned. Mm. Now get out before I put you out. We know what you're doing down here. Soul sand and three wither skulls? You're building a wither! Huh, smarter than you look. Hey, nobody talks to my friends like that. Now shut your mouth, or else. Enough! You've wasted too much of my time already. Where'd he go? Uh -oh. If you won't leave of your own volition, I'll happily remove you myself. A Show golem? Friends the door, will you? Golems are no joke. Oh man, this is so exciting. It sure is. And now, for the first time ever here at Endercon, we are very proud to present the one, the only, Gabriel! Voice by Thank Lee you. from The Walking Dead. <laughs> Are you with me? Everybody okay? Um, guys? Where's Lucas? I thought he was right behind me. Well, if he's not here, the only place he could be is... He's still down there. Ivor's got an iron golem and all the ingredients to build a wither down there. If he were to unleash it in this crowd of people, we have to act fast. It just so happens that the greatest warrior of all time is in the building. We should ask Gabriel for help. This is the smartest way to help Lucas. He's tough. I just hope he's tough enough to hold out a little bit longer. Yeah, let's get, let's get Gabriel. We need Gabriel to get Lucas back and to deal with everything else we saw down there. We're doing the right thing, Jesse. I just hope Lucas can hold out against that golem long enough for us to get help. Come on, then. Let's crash this party. With the right training and guidance, anyone, and I mean anyone, can become a hero. You just have to believe it. I want you to look me in the eyes. And I want you to know that I'm looking into you. We just gotta push through this crowd to get to Gabriel. I'm just gonna butter away to the front. Ten bucks, that guy's a phony. Right there in the front row. You know, when uh, Elgard and the dragon, um, like, what was her favorite food? Bread. Next question. Manners, come up, come up. Yes, next. What question do you have for the mighty Gabriel? Well? I saw something scary in the basement. I'm not following. <laughs> this creep's been building a monster down there. I'm telling you, he's trouble. Is that so? Well, as you all know, trouble is what I do best. I'm not making it up. We really need your help. Hmm. Perhaps we should have this checked out. I have a question for you. Uh -oh. Excuse me, sir. You'll have to wait your turn. Just tell me first. Do you really believe anyone can be great? With enough hard work? Yes. Was that where I went wrong? I simply didn't work hard enough? Ivor? Is that really you? How dare you interrupt like this? That's the guy who attacked us in the basement. I wish I could say I was surprised. If it's surprises you want, you're in for a treat. Why don't you tell them the real story, Gabriel? I see time has made you bitter. And it's made you an even bigger fool. Now these people were promised greatness, and I'm ready to deliver. I'm mm. sorry this is how they had to learn the truth. Gabriel, you have to stop him! Nothing built can last forever. Oh, ah, shit. I'm... No! Uh. 
Reacher, attack! Yeah, that's not good. So when we summoned the Wither in my old Bedrock file, we deliberately went as far underground as we could to fight it because it just destroys everything around Everyone it. Stay calm. <laughs> it's, it literally destroys everything. No match for me. Preacher, attack! We dug down a small room underground and by the time we killed yeah. it, we had basically made a new cave. It's crazy. What have you done? Gabriel! No, stay away! It's after me, not you. <laughs> So is Lucas dead? I don't think so. Look at him! The mighty Gabriel! Looks like true greatness is out of his reach. He may not be able to defeat this creature, but I can! Creature! Retreat! Uh oh. <clears throat> creature! Retreat! Retreat, I said! Retreat! Ivor, what are you doing? Oh, uh, no need to be alarmed, my friends. I have an elixir that will destroy this creature. That potion. Uh oh. That... The one that we stole? Uh oh. <laughs> well. Uh, what? Impossible. It should have worked. I took such care. The potion. Axel, you've got to throw the real potion. But finders keepers. You thieves, you're ruining everything. Axel, come on. Jesse, throw it. Oh. It's protecting itself. Without the command block exposed, the potion is useless. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. Ivor, you coward, come back here. Jesse, help me! Thank you. Ivor was right about one thing. I can't defeat that thing. Not on my own. Everyone's running away. Except for you. Will you help me? I must get to the temple. But what needs to happen next? I can't do alone. Of course! Follow me! Axel, what the hell, man? Oh my god, Axel. I know, right? He cares more about what I found way, it. Chickens. <laughs> Goddamn chickens. Yeah, so this thing is definitely not in Minecraft. The weather is, but not whatever the hell that is. Cerberus looks different. You got a makeover. <laughs> that guy was still in the block. Oh my god. People are running and screaming, and this dude's still just bouncing on a slime block. Lucas! You guys just left me down there. Abandon me. No, we were trying to warn Gabriel and get him to help. Jesse! Everyone. We must set out for my fortress. We'll be better protected there. Thanks for that just now. Yeah, well, now we're even. Incoming! 
God, really? No! Oh shit! <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> uh, I forgot you can straight up die. <laughs> Whoops. That was very quick. Safe as soon as we get to my temple. Oh, no. Everyone, keep going. We'll meet up on the other side. Stay with Ruben. Tense this gets. The inner chamber is built entirely of obsidian. We should be untouchable in there. <laughs> Hurry. If you can get through the portal, you'll be safe. Uh, something's not right here. It's not lit. Good thing we brought this. Everyone, get in, now! <laughs> Thank you. There what about those so other people? many of them. I, I can't save them all. I can't stop this by myself. We need to find the others. Others? Soren's been missing for years. But the others... You must seek them out. Take this amulet and guard it with your life. You can do this. How am I supposed to find Magnus and Eligard? The amulet will guide you. Take it through the portal and then... Uh oh. You saved Ruben, that's what counts. I mean, fair. You two, go through the portal and meet up with the others. I'll stay here and do whatever I can. Go on, Jesse, go! Get through that portal, now! Petra, you've got to go through the portal with us. Sorry, Jesse. This is something I've got to do. If anything happens, I'll meet you guys at the temple. It's getting real. I wonder if that would have happened anyway. Where's Petra? We did everything we could. What are you saying? Thank you. Jesse, what is he talking about? It was chaos. There wasn't much I could do. Jesse's right. Petra is still up there. I got scared. Just for a second. You got scared? It wasn't my fault. You got scared, and it's not your fault? Back off, Axel. We gotta go back. No. We just have to wait. Think about what you're walking into. Mm. There's nothing you can do. You'll just end up getting yourself killed. You don't know that. You don't know. Hey, there she is. Come on, come 
on. How does he know? He can't see. You again. Well. Ivor. You ruined everything. Don't pretend you don't know, thief! You took my most valuable That's... potion, and what should have been my moment of triumph! <laughs> More needless violence. I had it to. solves nothing. Learn the lesson now, or you'll share Gabriel's fate. There's nothing left up there. Nothing but that wither storm. Why are we wasting time talking to this jerk? We have to go and get Petra. The girl. I saw her. What? While I was running toward the portal, I passed her. She was running in the opposite direction. Such bravery. Of course. There's a fine line between bravery and stupidity. And your friend has crossed it. I'm saying she's stupid. You're a coward. Maybe. But I survived. And that's what counts. There's more to life than survival. Without survival, there is no life. Through that tunnel is a network of minecarts built by the Order of the Stone. <laughs> it's your only way out. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bully him. Way. Time's wasting, let's go. Much as I hate to admit it, he might be right. Bravo for embracing the truth. Oh no. What was that? I would wish you good luck, but luck won't carry you through the nether. You have my sympathies. Not a ghast. Those things are like genuinely Let's get creepy. Out of here. <laughs> Run! This must be what Ivor was talking about. Everybody, hold on! It looks like a jellyfish. If jellyfish made baby noises and spit fireballs. Absolutely. I hate those things. <laughs> the nether. Yeah, that is a lot of lava. And fire. And other things that could burn you to death. Oh no! Oh, that's a drop. That is very, very much a drop. What are you talking about, new guy? What drop? Oh, Hands in the air. Crap. You weren't kidding. Here we go. <laughs> what a fucking maniac. Another roller coaster is such a good idea. I think I know what I'm gonna build okay, next. So I'm not the only one seeing that we're running out of track, right? No. Good. Jesse, that switch. Now do it. Oh, arms don't fail me now. <laughs> wow. I thought something bad was gonna happen there, but <laughs> I guess everything's gonna be. Whoa. Jesse. No. Oh, what in the oh, world? Man. Uh, Axel, Olivia, Ruben. Oh no! Hang on, Ruben. You leave him alone. Ruben. Okay, Ruben. Remember how I said everything was gonna be just fine before? I know I was wrong then, but I have a very good feeling about it. Whoa! Duck! That is how you fight him. Nice. 
Well, gas are officially crossed off my to see list. Done with gas. Never need to see them. Oh, crap. <laughs> Oh, that was funnier than it had any right to be. Is, uh, is everyone okay? I mean, I'm not dead. I guess that's pretty good. Ditto. Ditto. The not dead. I just can't believe that Petra comes down here all the time. This place is awful. <laughs> Your throat's gonna be sore later, Axel. Why? I'm just saying. Wasn't that you doing all that screaming before? Sounded like you were really shredding your larynx. Oh, yeah. I heard that, too. Really high-pitched, kind of like a squeaky piston. What? No, shut up. You know how you have those experiences you remember and reminisce about for the rest of your lives? Yeah? This isn't one of those. Let's never discuss this ever again. <laughs> What a mood. Can you throw up, like, inside your body? This is genuinely uh -huh. more uh, amusing I know, than I remember I it being. I did. About five times. <laughs> wow. Look at this place. All these tracks converge at this point. You could probably get anywhere in the world from here. There's the portal. This is what Gabriel was talking about. That's our way out. It must lead back to the surface. The surface is also where that creature is. He's right. We have no idea what we're walking into. It could be dangerous. Thanks for being so brave, Axel. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm going. I'm going right now. Like right, right now. I just need to make sure I have everything I'll need. I think I put the, uh, thing over in the... Um... Why do I always have to be the one? Right behind you. Axel is crunk. Be safe up there, Axel. I can but see you're it. not, here I come. the worst that could happen. Never going first again. Why didn't he have a weapon? Where are we? In the dark, in the middle of nowhere? Maybe we should bed down for the night. It's dangerous to be out when it's just dark. I thought we were headed toward a temple. We're looking for a giant building. It should be pretty obvious. Ivor said... No, Ivor said... Well, then maybe this is the temple. I'm being sarcastic. Axel, come on. The Order wouldn't build all that track for nothing. It's got to be here somewhere. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, I was agreeing with you, so I don't know what you're talking about. We have to build... Uh... uh shelter. Shelter. I was going to say shelter. I say we build a treehouse. That'll take forever, and we'll be exposed while we do it. We just need a quick and dirty hut. Look, whatever it is... We gotta do it fast. What? Okay. In a hut, we won't know what's Are coming. Are we building a hut or a treehouse? A treehouse is gonna be Spider Town. I hate Spider. Hut or treehouse? I feel like we should just build a hut. It'll be quick, simple. Use dirt blocks. Tree. Heck. Tree. Hut. It's two to one. Three to one. Three to two. A dirt. See, you always start with a dirt house, right? At least that's what I do. 
All right. I think that was B. Spiders. Yeah. Let's go with the treehouse. It's functional. It'll keep us out of danger. It's not a bad idea. All right. Fine. Let's get started then. God, doing it without tools will take forever. If I wake up with a spider on my face, I'm gonna expect you to deal with it. Lower your expectations, Axel. Well, maybe if we'd built into the tree a little bit more, it could've... Never mind. It's... this is fine. It's good. Looks good, guys. Oh, man! What? I'm going to tell you something. You have to promise not to freak out. What is it? I have cookies. One for me. One for Olivia. One for Jesse. Thanks, Axel. Is it bad that all I can think is where did he steal them and from? And one for Reuben. <laughs> Sorry, Lucas. I only have four. Oh, no. It's it's all right. Do we give Lucas our cookie or do we keep our cookie? Axel is such a himbo. <laughs> so he's crunk. He's a himbo. <laughs> give, give. We're all feeling very generous and charitable, I guess. I have been playing the nice Jesse in this playthrough. Like, I've been very polite to everybody. I'm not that hungry anyway. Crunk is the OG himbo. Take it, Lucas. <laughs> no, no, I, I... I can't do that. I insist. Hey, Ivor deserved it, all right? Thank you, Jesse. But then we quickly learned it's a bully-free zone, so... That was for you, Jesse, not him. If you had to, which would you rather fight? A hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Choose wisely. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Let me think. How can you guys joke at a time like this? Petra is still out there. She's all by herself. There's nothing funny about that. You gotta stay positive. We can't just mope. We gotta keep our spirits high. No, we should be moping. That's exactly what we should be doing. Axel. I'm right, right? Maybe, but she's going to be fine. What makes you think that? She has to be. Fine. Then, uh, we should get some rest. We've got to start looking for this temple as early as we can. Now, my guess is if we start at the portal and kind of split oh, up... Oh, what are you doing? Did I do something to you? I'd really like to know. Because you keep getting on my case for what seems like no reason. He's just trying to help. See? I'm sorry, Jesse. I'm not gonna sit here and listen to this guy telling us what's what. I'm just trying to get ready for tomorrow. You're the only one wearing that stupid jacket. Don't tell us what to do. Take that back. Oh. Can't. Wouldn't. Don't insult the jacket. You know what? I get to wear this jacket because I know how to build. But that doesn't mean I don't know how to break things. Your threats don't scare me now that we know how you really are. Jesse, your friend is way out of line. I wasn't going to bring it up. Oh, no. But I can only take so much. It's all calm down. Just drop it. Don't be like that, Jesse. Just drop it. Haven't you done enough damage for one day? Petra might be dead because of you. You're taking this too far, Axel. I don't have to take this. Listen, why don't I just leave? and let you guys hash this out. You can't leave. It's dangerous out there. I can take care of myself. It's what Axel wants, right? Let him leave if he wants to leave. You're not going anywhere. But Jesse... That's enough. We're all on the same team now. You gave him a He's cookie. Staying. He's staying. Zombie-sized chickens. That's what I would fight. Why is that? Because I'm starving. That's the same thing we picked. Of course. Rain is better than monsters. 
Thanks for keeping me around, Jesse. Yeah. So if we had told him to, to fuck off, he would have been out there in the dark and the rain alone. That's mean. Yeah, why didn't they make a hut? <laughs> That's a very good question. Sorry about all that business last night. Honestly, I'm just... I'm more embarrassed than anything else. Hey! There's something over that way! What is it? Some kind of building, I think. Let's get a closer look. See a lot of gold blocks. This has to be the place. What is this place? Ruben. That's what we're trying to figure out. It's the Temple of the Order of the Stone. Lucas, are you sure? He's right. Look. Holy crap. Do you think they're in there? Let's go in and find out. Let's just all be careful. Okay. If you spot anything, call it out. We don't have a lot of time. Isn't it weird how dispensers are carved to look like spooky little faces? What do you dispense, little guy? I get the feeling that we don't really <laughs> want to find out. Get behind me. Uh-oh. I see pressure plates on the floor. Ruben, no! Wow, what was that? That's probably not a good thing. Oh, come on, dispenser faces. I thought we were friends. Run! Oh, God. Activated the dispensers with that pressure plate. If we can figure out a way to trigger it again, I bet that'll shut them off. There's a crafting table. Maybe we can make something useful. Out of what? We don't have anything. All of our tools and materials are back home. All right, everyone, empty your pockets. Let's see what we've got to work with. I have a few sticks left over from building the shelter last night. I've got some flint and... A piece of string. I'll make a bow. I some chicken feathers I picked up after that chicken machine exploded. <laughs> uh, let's see. I've got some flint and steel, a sword. Oh, and some string from a spider that I fought. String, sticks, flint, and feathers. Should be able to make a bow, right? Yeah. Better build it correctly. All right, look. Um, wait, how do I? Fishing rod? No, there we go. Arrow. At least we get to keep the uh, recipe up. Let's do this. Nice. All right. The order of the pig's luck is changing. I totally forgot that was our name already. This must be their enchantment room. Doesn't this look like Ivor's creepy basement? Oh, 
Find anything useful? Not sure about useful, but definitely interesting. There is a lot of history in this room. Chanting table. The battle was fierce, but the order of the stone emerged triumphant, saving the land and ensuring that peace and prosperity would reign forever. Well, not exactly forever. These five, five members, five friends, together would give so Wait, didn't they much say four to gain before? their rightful place as five heroes. Mm. They would author their own end. They would slay a dragon. Ivor was a member of the Order of the Stone? The stories never mentioned him. This is so crazy. There must be a reason he's never been mentioned. Maybe he was different back then. Maybe they kicked him out. Man, I can't believe you punched a member of the Order of the Stone. This is All right, so look. crazy. The Order might not be what we thought they were, but Petra is still out there. That monster is still out there. Jesse's right. We need to focus on what we came here to do. Where do these stairs go? They go up. Technically the truth. Now this is cool. Wow. What happened to the walls? More like what happened to this whole place. This must have been where they met. So where are they then? Gabriel said that once we find the temple, the amulet would lead us to the Order of the Stone. Well, what are you waiting for? Pull it out, then. Is something supposed to happen? Well, that was a letdown. There's got to be something we're missing. Look around and see if you can find anything. It's a map of the entire world. This is way nicer than the one at Endercon. We're in the temple of the Order of the Stone. The Order's actual temple. Who'd have thought it, huh? A bunch of small towners like us wrapped up in an adventure like this. Yeah, it's pretty insane. I just hope we all come out the other side in one piece. Let's talk to Reuben. Hey, Reuben, find any clues? Alright. What is... What the heck? I don't know, it's one of these things. than I thought it would be. Wow. <laughs> I thought that was going to be more complicated. It's absolutely incredible. How did they build this? Okay. Now I'm impressed. This looks like some sort of tracking system. It's the order. It's showing where they are right now. Look, we don't know enough about how this thing works. Maybe the amulet only tracks them when they're on the surface. Or maybe it doesn't work when they're in the nether. We have to go off what we do know. There are only two lights on that map. If there are only two heroes left, then we know what we need to do. Petra's relying on us. That wither storm is still out there. We know that Gabriel was trying to tell us something. 
We've got to find the Order of the Stone. But there are only two whites. There are only two members of the Order left? He said Soren was missing. That leaves Magnus or Eligard. Well, let's head out. I'm not going with you guys. I have to stay here. If I know Petra, she's probably doing everything she can to find this place. She's still out there. Mm. She has to be. But what if she didn't make it? Don't say that. Axel, Jesse's right. Petra might be gone. If there's even a small chance she's alive, I have to stay. Go. Get help. I'm going to focus on making this place safe before nightfall. This temple is pretty big, though. If we're going to have a chance at fortifying it, I'm going to need some help. If, uh, maybe one of you guys can hang back with me? Sounds like Olivia will have you totally covered while me and Jesse are out finding Magnus. Finding Magnus? You really think that's how it's going to go? We need Eligard. She's the world's greatest engineer. She'll figure out a way to stop that thing. We're trying to destroy it. And when it comes to destruction, Magnus is the master. You're a smart person, Jesse. Obviously, the smart thing to do is to go get Magnus. I <laughs> think Axel meant Eligard there, Jesse. Uh, no. Okay. I don't think I did. Pretty so, sure Axel meant who are we going for? Jesse, we're going for the engineer the is, or the TNT guy? Eligards. It's the clear choice to make. You've got to come with me. You're my best friend. It sounds like we're also picking who we're traveling me. with. Like always. So are we going Think with about it, Jesse. Axel to this get Magnus? More of a gut call. We need to make sure we get this right. <laughs> Disagree with You're Axel because it's Axel. Shot at this. Oh my god. Whatever decision you make. So you vote I'll for Olivia cool and going for Eligard? Really? As long as it's me. Come on, Jesse. This is an easy call. Is it? Eligard? Yeah, Olivia. Okay. Olivia? You and I are going to Eligard's. Awesome. Axel, you stay here with Lucas and get the place ready for when Petra shows up. What, with that guy? I'm right here. <laughs> Come on, Axel. <laughs> for Petra's sake. Fine, I'll do it. For Petra. I'll take it. Uh, guys? The pig looks so concerned. You mean Reuben? He's the best part of this. Oh shit. Well, please hurry. Heck. And that's episode one. See, they're pretty short episodes. Those two need to get some alone time. And Olivia returns We're literally to about to play this episode. On... I feel like we can skip that. <laughs> if it's possible. Finding no! Alright, well we're gonna watch this. Engineer. You don't know how to spell his name? And find themselves -E in a place of B? mechanical e marvels, redstone rare. I think I haven't been paying Amazing attention. Machines limited only by the imagination of their brilliant creator. While the great storm grows, consuming everything in its wake. I'm pretty I sure this guy narrating is Fry from Futurama. Our intrepid heroes. Okay, did you send Ruben away or keep him with you? Sixty-seven percent kept him. 63% alerted Gabriel. 47% of us helped Petra. 74% of us convinced Lucas to stay in the shelter. Wow. I don't know how to spell it. We're gonna, we're gonna look next time. <laughs> Pay attention and see. But yeah, see, these episodes are really short. <laughs>